So I think one of the most important things for people to understand when they think about hospice is that hospice is not about death. Hospice is actually about living until you can no longer live. And it's about us bringing in resources that support that life, that help create that life, that leave a, leave a legacy for patients and their families. So it's, and, and what I mean by that is that people have hope that they'll be cured from their breast cancer. Well, once you've entered into hospice, we understand that that's the last part of your life. So there may not be an opportunity for a cure for cancer, but what there may be is a hope that you can celebrate your life, a holiday with a family, perhaps a, a wedding that's in the near future or a birth of a grandchild. There are many things in life that we can refocus and say, this is what matters to me. So hospice wants to come in, they want to bring our resources in, they want to find out what matters to the patient and their family and how can we get that. And what I mean by what matters is we develop a treatment plan. And that treatment plan has many different people that come in and bring their expertise to help the family. It's important for us to know what matters to our patients. It's important for our patients to know where are they on the disease trajectory? Where are they in their process of this disease? Do they have two months to live, three months to live, a year and a half? You know, studies have shown us that doctors are poor prognosticators. Up to 63% of doctors are off. And I think it's because we care. We're very close to our patients. We're trained to fix things. We're trained to cure. We're trained to, you know, bring in new studies. We, we want to impact this disease. But, you know, sometimes we cannot change uh, the trajectory. And that's when we have to recognize that and be willing to let our patients know. I don't want to say I have the courage to let them know, but I think we have to be able to talk to our patients. I think tough conversations require a lot of thought, a lot of empathy, a lot of humility, kindness, and a gentle approach. Physicians are human beings. They don't want to give up on their patients. They don't want their patients to feel abandoned, and they want to be honest and transparent. Patients look to their physicians for the truth. They, they look for their expertise, and basically they're looking for a cure. So it's very important that physicians are honest with patients and their families. And what I, I say is that sometimes you have to ask a patient in the family, how do you think you're doing? And just pause and let them fill in the blank. And then you get an understanding, does this patient actually understand where they are with their life-limiting disease? So if, if you have a breast cancer patient, for example, and they've failed multiple therapies, they've lost a lot of weight, they've been in the hospital, they're actually missing doctor's appointments because they can't get there, they're declining. They have incurable cancer, their performance status has decreased, they're appropriate for end-of-life care in the hospice setting. But what's important is that you, patients don't want to give up hope, and physicians oftentimes don't want to get hope. But if you ask the patient, how do you think you're doing? They may say, terrible. And then you could say, I'm actually very concerned about how you're doing as well. And you begin the conversation. And once you begin the conversations, patients will tell you what they think and you will tell them what they need to know. And after you've had that conversation, we will come up with with a treatment plan. That treatment plan may include end-of-life care in the hospice setting. Now, if you can't talk to them, I think you should find out somebody who can, perhaps a social worker. You say to your patients, you know, there's some very um, important things that I, I think that you need to hear that, that I would like you to understand about what's going on with your disease. I'd like you to meet your palliative care doctor in the hospital setting. I'd like you to meet the social worker. Would it be okay with you if we get a consult for end of life care from the hospice people? Because we have to remember, most people think hospice is death, so they want to avoid it. But what we want to do is give patients and their family expert care at the end of their life for many, many days, many months, so that they actually 
benefit from the social worker, from the chaplain, from the bereavement counselor, from the nursing. Sometimes patients actually do better and live longer when they enter hospice. There's studies that have shown that. Their quality of life improves and they live longer. So that's really what physicians want. They want a great quality of life for their patients and they want them to live as long as they can live with a happy, robust life. Medicine does amazing things, but it cannot prevent end of life. End of life is something that we are all guaranteed to experience. And what hospice does is it brings in compassion, dignity, peace, comfort, and symptom management for the patients, additionally supporting the, the family 